Yes, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the MU stand. This is King Gamer, Real Sociedad nil, Manchester United won full time. I mean, it's been disappointing. It's been disappointing. I thought, I thought we could win this game by two goals. I thought we could win the group, but it was just it wasn't meant to be. Real Sociedad have held on to that top spot in Group E. On the night, Manchester United win thanks to Garnacho's goal, but it's not only enough for the <clears throat> it's only enough for the runners, uh, runner up spot. We can't win the group now. We know it has been confirmed. I'll just quickly show you guys what the table looks like. So we we do have the same points, but we now finish in the second place because of the goal difference we have. So that's been frustrating. I mean, do do I think we deserve to win the group? I think we deserve to win the group, but given the performance tonight, I don't think we deserve to win by two goals. But I also don't think they deserve to win the group because they were lucky with that penalty uh, that was called in that first game when we when, when we played against uh, uh, against them at Old Trafford. But look, I mean, it is what it is. I mean, we just move on. Uh, I think the problem now finishing second is. It's so disappointing that now we have to win. I mean, we have to play against uh, a teams that are coming from the Champions League, which is going to make it really, really difficult. I mean, the likes of Barcelona, the likes of uh, Juventus, Ajax. I actually have the list here. We could take a look at it quickly. So look, I mean, these are the potential teams that we could be facing in the next round. Ajax, Barcelona, Bayern, Leverkusen, Juventus, uh, Salzburg, Sevilla, Shakhtar and Sporting Lisbon. So it's disappointing that we haven't won the group, but we move on. We move on. I thought Garnacho played really well in this game. What a goal by the kid, by the way. Wow. What a goal from that teenager. Uh, Fernandez actually wins a header from a long ball forward and then flicks the ball into the path of Cristiano and the United forward uh, feeds Garnacho on the left and the youngsters brilliantly i mean brilliantly finished he drives through forward and he finishes with his left an outstanding finish an assist for cristiano but a good finish from garnacho i think garnacho had another chance in that first half as well uh when he uh well fernandez does brilliantly uh to lose his marker and find the teenager on the left uh garnacho actually turns into the box before working on an opening but his effort flies over the bar i believe that was in the first half as well uh what else happened in that game i think cristiano wow what a golden chance for ronaldo i mean martinez plays a long ball and uh <clears throat> a mistake in the uh, sociedad defense sees cristiano through on goal one on one with the goalkeeper but his have uh, his effort is only like <clears throat> he has he has the goalkeeper to beat but his he, he basically lops the ball above the uh, uh, the goalkeeper, but it just goes over the bar. Has nearly missed a goal. I mean, it could have been a goal. That was that was the only chance I can remember in this game. This is why I think that we don't fully deserve to 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 to, to win this game by two goals. But in general, I believe we should be winning the group, given the performance we had against Real Sociedad at home and away. I thought they just a nasty nasty team to play against i mean the way they played tonight is embarrassing i mean they just wasted a lot of times just sitting on the floor each touch you touch them like with your fingers they can just fall down as if they were shot it was just ridiculous i mean ridiculous uh by them but hey i mean they got the job done that's what they wanted to do but disappointing for us really really disappointing night for us i thought we could have won this game but wasn't to be but i'm gonna run down quickly to the performance i mean uh players rating david de gea he made two big saves at the uh end of that first half uh, to preserve uh united's lead and handled other attempts with care i think he he gets a seven out of ten for me uh Dallot, defensively uh dependable again on his 25th consecutive starts now for the club uh um the formation change actually helped him a lot. Uh, in attack, did he provide enough? He did okay, so I'll, I'll give him seven. He didn't make a lot of mistakes. Uh, Lindelof, 
also called up on that uh, center back position and instead of Maguire, which is exactly what I wanted. If you actually watch the preview, I wanted Lindelof to play this match because we can actually press high and play a high line, which is what we're trying to do in this game. And he was calm on the ball um, and without the ball, he was calm. He has a good understanding with uh, Lissandro Martinez. Uh, obviously, his substitution was uh, likely forced uh, in terms of uh, injury, possibly injury, or we're trying to push more forward. That's why he was taken off. I don't think it's because of his performance that he had to be uh, taken off. I give him a seven as well. So all across, I will give seven to De Gea, Dalo, Lindelof, all seven for me. Martinez is eight out of 10. He's a uh, combative as ever. You know what you get when you see Martinez play. He was especially dominant in the air duels uh, and vigilant. He sensed a lot of uh, Lindelof's vulnerability to high balls and stuff. He was covering up most of that, uh, uh, most of that uh, circumstances for Lindelof. So good performance by Martinez, eight out of 10 for me. Luke Shaw, he almost had, uh, he almost had an attack, a, a attacking pass to, I think when we did the counter attack, he was trying to find Cristiano, uh, but I don't know. I, did I see enough from Luke Shaw uh, going forward and, uh, and supporting the attack? I don't know. I think I'll give him six out of 10. He wasn't extremely bad, but he wasn't extremely good as well. There's an average uh, uh, performance by Luke Shaw. Uh, Casemiro, let's move on to Casemiro. So Casemiro, seven out of 10 for me. Much more uh, defensive minded tonight. Obviously he was often at the uh, right place uh, at the right time. A lot of the times a uh, solid performance uh, back in Spain. Uh, Christian Eriksen. Okay, Christian Eriksen, six out of 10 for me. Uh, without possession and with possession, I think Eriksen was, was decent. The apparent, the three, three, one formation setup did not actually suit him. He was he was a bit lost, but he did okay. I think he did okay. Average performance, he hasn't made a lot of mis mistakes. Uh, but normally we see Christian Eriksen create a lot of chance for the forwards and for the uh, um, for Bruno and Garnacho or Cristiano. We haven't seen that tonight. Uh, so average performance. Okay, Donnie, this is the one I'm really, really disappointed at. Like Donnie, was very disappointing. I mean, he got he, he was caught in no man's land tonight. I mean, he had no chemistry with any of his teammates tonight. Uh, his chances are just being limited in this team now. And this is another game that he needed to to prove that he could stay in the team. He could stay at Manchester United and be a first team uh, a, for a, a starter for this team. But it just seems to me that Donny is just his, his head is gone. I don't know what's going on with Donny. I hope I hope he gets well, but I just don't see a future with him now in the team. It just looks like he's just taken off now. I don't think he's going to stay at Manchester United, and we might see him leave in January. Three out of ten for me. Uh, Bruno Bruno was uh, okay uh, in, in the build up. Um, he had a vital role in the opening goal and found Alejandro Garnacho with a magnificent pass, which uh, Garnacho actually missed. But he did okay. Average performance for me, 6 out of 10. Garnacho, 7 out of 10 for me. He's, he started eagerly, uh, scored a brilliant, brilliant goal for another landmark moment and a, a remarkable year for Garnacho. He had another chance, uh, an acquirer. After United changed formation, he had a quieter uh, second half, which which is the reason why he was taken off. Uh, Cristiano, five out of ten for me. I think his assist for uh, Garnacho was good, but he should have scored with a with a lob that dropped onto the roof of the net. He should have scored there. I, I that was the only chance we had in this game. Frustration got the better of him in the second half. Uh, he could have seen. I mean, he he, he did get booked. A yellow card for one foul but all in all he wasn't threatening enough up front from my liking so Cristiano gets five out of ten for me uh 
The subs, okay, let me quickly run down through the subs. Rashford, wasteful, five out of 10. Scott McTominay, no impact, five out of 10. Fred offered no real threat as a United chased the goal, another five out of 10. Hey, Maguire, weirdly, I mean, weirdly, he played out front with Cristiano. Is that going to be out front too in the next game? God knows, I hope not. But we try to put Maguire out front to try and see if we can nick a goal, wasn't to be no impact from harry Maguire as well so this has been my match reaction if you ask me man of the match i might just give it to lissandro martinez i think he was solid defensively he was solid as well haven't put a foot wrong uh, uh and strong leadership uh, leadership from that back line uh i'll give it to uh lissandro martinez but guys let me know what you guys think uh leave your comments down below who was your man of the match and do you agree with the lineup that we have gone with? Do you agree with the players rating that I have just gone through? Please let me know down below uh, in the comment sections. And thanks for watching again. Thank you so much. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.